This magnetic stirrer can make the stir bar go quickly or slowly. And the beauty of this particular uh, stirrer is that you can control the speed and uh, this is what I will be um, going into in this video. Here's my first magnetic stirrer based on a uh, CPU fan and here was the problem. When it first starts it's already faster than I want. So the speeds are fast and very fast. This is okay for uh, people who are making, uh, dissolving yeast in solution for making beer. This is where I first saw it on the uh, internet. But uh, somebody mentioned that uh, it takes four to five volts to even get these kind of CPU fans started. And uh, that's true when I measured it. But it's uh, got way too much speed for what I want. So just to have a look at the inside here, um, this is a CPU fan. I've taken off the blades because at one point I thought maybe um, the, the blades would make a difference in being able to uh, slow it down, but it made no difference at all. So I'm going to open it up, open up the other one now to show you how, how it's made. So here are the four main parts the um, induction motor here, the uh, rheostat, so here's a, a separate one, this is a, with a high wattage rheostat like this, the, a, uh, an AC switch here, and then the housing here, the, the project box. So let's look at each one in turn. The key to the being able to control the, the um, var variability of the speed is this induction motor. So this this is it here. It comes as a kit uh, with a, a fan like this, a small fan, and uh, then a larger fan like this, but uh, we, we don't need such a large one. The thing is there's a depression in here as well as here too. Um, and the neodymium magnets here have to be raised up so that it's just under the top of the, the, the lid but without touching. So I've just cut some uh, rubber matting here roughly in a circular manner, glued them together and glued the neodymium magnets on here using contact cement. Now the induction motor uh, consists of a, a coil here Oh, you can't turn it around like this. Uh, the winding here and uh, sitting inside a laminated electromagnet. So I, the theory of induction motor is way beyond me. I don't have a background in uh, electronics, I'm afraid. Uh, it's, it's held on, uh, screwed in from the bottom. Uh, and you'll notice here there are, if you can see here, these are, are spacers here and here. Now these are needed to have this bottom part slightly above, with, uh, not, not touching the aluminum. So it's, it, there's a slight gap in here. Um, I initially didn't know about that and I screwed it in. This whole thing kind of buckled upward and uh, the pressure of this on the aluminum restricted uh, the motion of the fan. So the spacers are used to raise this up a bit. This keeps uh, the bottom flat and uh, this can revolve unrestricted. So this induction motor, sometimes call, called a shaded pole induction motor, I don't know exactly what that means, but this cost me about $35. Now the, uh, the housing then, this aluminum housing is, uh, as you saw at the beginning, is uh, called a project box. Now the um, rheostat uh, that you need, I think, was about uh, 20, 20 to twenty-five dollars. So I've already got it installed here. Let me pause here for a moment just to show the uh, costs of the major parts. These are Canadian dollars. 
the neodymium magnets have to be bought uh, separately and uh, the the cable uh, the plug and the uh, the knob the AC switch those are relatively all inexpensive so the total thing will be less than uh, $100 now this one is a fairly large one it's a uh, 50 watt and it's got a rated at three and a half thousand ohms okay so that does the job well and then uh, the AC switch here's a knob that you can buy separately to screw onto here so to turn it uh, the cord uh, I bought this cord at uh, the, uh, electrical supply store and uh, the plug here I just got at uh, Home Depot strip the wires and connect them on there okay so uh, you need to uh, make a hole I, I should actually take this off to show you I'll, I'll do that the rheostat I'll show it on here has a little lug sticking out here and uh, so we have to provide a hole in the box here so I've taken off the uh, the knob and I've got right here if you can see that I made a little hole this was a previous one but I had to turn it to get in the proper position so there's a, a little hole in so that lug sticks in and so if you try to move here it can't because uh, that holds it in place and then there's the uh, the washer here that that comes with it to um, to hold it in place and then then you can put the knob back on <clears throat> Let me just turn this around we'll look at the wiring here So the switch here, this particular AC switch, has two lugs on one side and then a third one here. So the white from the power cord will attach to one to here and the black is going to be attached to the front here along with um, one of the uh, leads from the motor so uh, these little connectors are very handy so I'm going to connect the black from the power and this one from the motor together and together they will be put on here so this allows the light to go on and off when you turn on the switch now there's a connector from here a separate wire connecting the other the back of the uh, switch to the one end of the uh, rheostat and then the middle the wiper is connected to the motor and then the ground should be screwed on to the uh, the aluminum uh, some somewhere on the aluminum for the ground I've done it a little differently I've put an extension onto the green here from the power and I'm going to hook it onto a post here I'll, I'll show you this so the green will just slip onto this post here which is uh, just uh, the screw connected to the aluminum and then there will be um, a top and not a top, a nut. Here's the nut that uh, I then screw down and, uh, and fasten it to that post. And I think that is the, uh, the electrical connections. Here's the picture version of the uh, connections for people like me. And here is a circuit diagram for more sophisticated viewers. So if you're going to build this, I wish you lots of luck.